How can I sum up 2022? What the actual f While the world has continued to be topsy-turvy and all kinds of crazy, here on A Canadian Abroad, we take five to 15 minutes of our day to experience something new, something familiar from a different perspective, or honestly just have a much needed laugh. Let's look back at some of 2022's most memorable moments. The late Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee weekend, tops my list. I was very committed to experiencing as much of crowded and at times overwhelming London as I could possibly tolerate. Let's follow the masses of people, Eric. This was a moment in history and my desire to be part of something bigger than myself took me over. One of you truthfully pointed out that not everything is geared specifically for us. And in actual fact, I'm not specifically geared for this sort of madness, but I do it anyways, because memories. Wow. moment to be in London. While this channel has given us all a chance to have some fun amidst the chaos, sometimes life and world events call for action in my non-YouTube life. You didn't see this on a Canadian abroad, but uniting with tens of thousands of people in central London to stand with Ukraine in March 2022 was one of those experiences that's shaped me. It's always a good idea to show others you care. The people who joined me on some of my adventures made for some of the most memorable moments in 2022. Some of whom I had never met until that day. Some of whom I traveled to new places to spend time with. And some who just make my heart happy. The butter, the butter market. The butter market. The butter market. The butter market. <laughs> <laughs> and make life way more enjoyable. Hey, right, Christy, you ready to lose? I don't know. Are you ready to lose? <laughs> Two times. I've been on YouTube long enough now that sometimes I get things right in one take, but there are always those days when I don't. That's right. It's time for a 2022 blooper reel. <laughs> been so obnoxious. So much fun. <laughs> Let's do this vlog. All right, so next stop, we're gonna do Trafalgar Square. We're gonna hit up. Were you just posing? Yeah. <laughs> Someone just spotted me. <laughs> giving a cheeky we... smile in the background. Sure. <laughs> oh, that one. Christmas is cancelled, my dear. Okay. Okay. Sweating buckets. I am. Very warm at the moment. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. I've returned with a strengthened Canadian accent and a realization and the sound of sirens. Because it's London. <laughs> an ice pack. 
pretty. Whew, wow. Now we got some pep. All right, here we go. Spanning 1,500 species from across, across, across the globe, across the globe. <laughs> Ma! <clears throat> feeling invigorated, feeling ready to go. I cannot talk today. I know what you're thinking, but I really was a lifeguard in a past life. Like, real life Baywatch. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Sorry about that. Like, not even close, Michelle. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do it. <laughs> We're just having a time, you know? Our abroad community has grown significantly over the past year, and I just want to thank you for your support, for your knowledge, for making me laugh in the comments. Like, yeah, I actually read every single one. For entertaining my attempts at assimilating, and most importantly, for reminding me on a regular basis how Canadian I sound. You're my people. I'm biased, but I think we're pretty good people. 2023 is shaping up to be an interesting year. Hop down into the comments and let us know what you have planned for the year ahead. We've got a trip to Scotland already booked. I'm applying to go back to school. We have visitors scheduled from April through September, which means plenty of more adventures. I have ancestral roots in London that I didn't know about. <laughs> what? Oh, and Eric promised to take me to a beach. Any beach, anywhere, please. That'd be great. As always, thank you for joining me. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one, or this one, if you're bored. <laughs>